The CEO at British Used Clothing actually responded to that part one video and sent me an official response. Here it goes. Hi. Welcome back to Cooking the Haydens. I'm Carbu Chris. I'm a full-time reseller and I buy and sell stuff from all different kinds of places. One of the places I go to is clothing wholesalers, um, bulk vintage clothing wholesalers, that kind of place. Now, hopefully you've watched part one of this video. If you haven't, this is it. I'm going to flash it on screen. It might be an idea just to whiz back, watch part one and then come back and watch part two. But let's just give a little recap on part one. So basically, I tried out a new um, clothing wholesaler. I've never tried them before. I always like to give new places a try just to see what their quality is like, what their service is like, etc, etc. And um, because I've been doing a lot of trainers lately, I decided to do an order of trainers. And um, I ordered what was described as grade A branded trainers. 10 kilograms and it cost me a hundred pound all in 100 pound flat including VAT delivery everything 100 quid and this was from a company called British Used Clothing they used to do big lots container loads bales but now they're doing smaller reseller bundles so I thought I'd try them and as the video went I unboxed the order that I got and it appeared not to be too good at all, really. Let's be honest about it. There was stuff that was dirty. Didn't look like there was a lot of value. And a lot of you guys watched that and commented, over 100 comments, I think, how much are these trainers actually worth for me on eBay? I've comped everything as to what I think it might be worth when I list it. And we're going to go through and we'll keep a counter now and again on screen. Let's start off with this Alessi um, bright orange pair. Um, remember, I paid £100 for everything. I've valued these at just £10. Um, very, very low value. £10 on the Alessis. Now, there were three pairs of kids' um, trainers. And this little New Balance pair. Quite cute, really, to be honest. And actually, this the, the New Balance ones do command some quite high value. Um, these are quite used. These have gone through the washing machine. I put a few through the washing machine and they came out really nice, to be honest. Um, but I'm still going to only value them at £10. I might actually list these for a bit higher, but at the moment I'm going to say £10 on the little New Balance. Here's another pair of kids that came in. These are Skechers and these were pretty sketchy in their um, condition. So, um, But look how they came out in the wash. These have come out lovely looking in the wash and I've put a value of £15 on these because some of the kids' sketches, you go and have a look on eBay, some of the kids' sketches are actually doing quite well. Um, there's a big hair on that. So I valued those at £15. Let's go over here to this pair of feelers. Not great value at all in these. Um, I've put a value of £10 on these. They're in good condition, which is probably what saves it at £10. But other than that, pretty, pretty low value feelers. Um, let's have a look at these kickers. These um, sort of pumps kickers. Um, I actually struggled to find the exact same pair, but it doesn't really matter because these are actually split down the sides where the crease goes. They're split. So I'm not going to sell these. And either way, I don't think they were going to be worth much more than about 10 to 15 pound. So with the split on them, these are basically worthless in my eyes. Um, maybe a charity shop might want them, but even then, mm, they've got the damage on them. So I'm going to say these are a complete fail, value zero. So at the moment, we are not doing great. Now these Converse went through the wash. Um, you might remember on the video uh, part one that these were all very stained and brown and um, these have actually come up lovely and white, come up very, very nice indeed. They actually look like they've barely been used. Um, I've put a value on these of £15. So, so far we're ticking away, we're creeping our way up to £100. Um, we've got these Adidas Superstars and... Um, 
Not bad condition at all, really. I did give them a good wipe down. I put a value on these of £20. Uh, these Nikes went through the washing machine as well. I very rarely put trainers in the washing machine unless they are um, in real bad shape. So I put these in the washing machine. They come out pretty nice, actually. You can see there. They're still very, very warm, but I still think these have got a value in them. I've put a value of £15 on eBay here with those. Um, these also went through the washing machine, but look how nice they've come up. They've come up cracking. And you know what? It's amazing what the pink stuff, the washing machine powder that you can get, the pink stuff, throw some of that in, put your normal pod in, and um, wow, they have come up very nice. They were just superficially dirty. They've actually come up really good. Um, that being said, they're not massive value. £15 on these. Now, we're getting to some more interesting things. So let's see where the value takes us. We've got some Adidas Campus. These are uh, Campus Branch. And uh, when I did my research, um, I think these are worth about £25. Adidas Campus. Like a khaki green colour, like indie trainers. I like using that phrase. Um, these are Venice. And I'm not sure where these originate from. I'm, whether this is a high street brand or not. Um, these are, are not worth a lot at all. I've put £10 on these, I think. Where's my little... Each of them have got a little slip of paper inside. That's clever, isn't it? I've lost a slip of paper from that one. I'm going to say £10 on those, not a lot. I might not even listen, but I'm going to say £10. I do think they might be worth that. We've got some Adidas Neo. Um, I'm going to put £20 on these blue Neos. Used trainers. If you're sat there thinking, Chris, you must be mad. Who's paying 20 quid for these used Neos? Used trainers on eBay are big business. People spend money on used trainers and you can do quite well on them. So don't rule out used trainers and don't think that they're necessarily just worth next to nothing because they have got value. Now, these sketches, these little kids ones, these were in bad shape. You might remember on the video as well. They were dirty on the top, stained. These went in the washing machine with the rest of them. And look at them. They've come out sparkling. They really have come out nice. Um, I think these might be worth £15. I might push 20 on them because there is some evidence that these go for some decent money. But at the moment, I'm going to be conservative and I'm going to say £15. Uh, now, we've got some more sketches. These are men's sketches and I very nearly kept these for myself because they do actually fit me, even though they're a nine. Um, I'm a ten, really, in sketches, but they do fit me. But I am going to flog them because... Um, I think they're worth 30 quid. So that adds to our little total from um, to try and get our 100 quid back. £30 on that. How are we doing? You should be seeing on screen how we're doing. We've got these Under Armour um, women's running shoes. Actually real nice condition to be fair. Only needed a very quick wipe down. Um, I'm going to put a value on these of £30. If you want to know what any of the sizes of these are, please go watch part one because I did all the sizes in that one. Now, these are Nike um, Renew and not a bad pair at all. One of the better pairs in this bungle. Um, pretty nice condition. I just gave them a bit of a wipe down. They come up all right. They come up quite nice. And um, I'm going to put a value of these of £40. Not bad at all. So we're, we're getting there. And now I've left, I've left the best pair till last. Um, because these are Nike Air 1. Nike Air Max 1. And this particular colour version is, what's it called now? Psych, uh, psychic Pink or Psychedelic Pink or something like that. I can't remember what it is now. I've listed these already, actually, on eBay. I thought I'll get the expensive ones on, try and get my money back. Um, and these are £200 plus if they were brand new. And these aren't 
in the best condition compared to what's listed on eBay. So I've gone slightly under what is best condition on eBay. So I've listed these for 70 quid. And that's quite a nice chunk of me 100 quid back. Um, I did have to go to work on these to try and get the suede a little bit nicer. Um, and I think it's come up quite well. You might be able to see on camera there. I think they've come up quite nice. And they are listed for £70. And that, guys, is everything. So if my calculations are correct, that makes a total of £350 listed value. So if we take 20% off that, that's 20, 40, 60, 70 pound in fees. Um, so that takes it to 280 pound. If we get full price for everything, which we won't. Um, so you can knock a bit more off after that. But all in all, it wasn't as bad as first feared. Some people thought I wouldn't even make 100 pound back. And some people thought I might break even. Some people thought it was a load of trash. This should have all been grade A branded. And yes, it was all branded, but it wasn't all grade A. The CEO at British Used Clothing actually responded to that part one video and sent me an official response. Here it goes. Hi, just saw this come up in search results when checking my SEO. This wasn't one of our better boxes. We originally set the offer as A slash B grade and then changed the product to an A grade only offer and our shoe sorter didn't know until after your box went out. This box definitely wasn't packed with much thought to reselling potential and we apologise. We're working to improve our offering and to work to offer better brands and quality. Thanks for going gentle on us in the review. I first looked at the comments and was in myself during watching the video. It's definitely a bland box and we'll work to improve on it. We have an affiliate program now if you're interested. The sign up link is on the footer of the website. We're really good at our clothes. So if this is the first time you've used us, have a stab at our looks, looks L-U-X-E selection. It may be a good opportunity for a sponsored video. Okay, so at least um, Alan at uh, British Used Clothing did respond, watched the video and took the time to respond. Now, I know what some of you guys are going to say, and I, I can predict it now. It's like, it's all right saying that after the horse has bolted, um, after a YouTuber has unboxed the box, it's all right saying that it should have been better. Um, but I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm definitely going to try their clothing boxes, but I am going to do it in a way in which they probably won't know it's me. I'm going to get somebody else to order for me. So, Alan, if you're watching, just make sure all your boxes are YouTube friendly and you can't go wrong. That's all I've got to say on it. Just imagine every single box that gets opened is going to be opened on YouTube. If your staff are happy with that, if you're happy with that, you're going to have a blinding business. Drop a comment below. Were you expecting £350 listed value? I wasn't. I was thinking I might break even, I might make a small profit. But that's much better than I was expecting because there was a couple of good trainers in here which helped it along its way. Anyway, drop us a comment. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Thanks very much for watching, really appreciate it. If you wanna catch up on another one of my videos, you can try one like this or one like this. They're both good ones, uh, give it a go. Or you can subscribe by pressing this button here. There you go, see you later.